Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chaotic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, I'm a variety streamer on Twitch. Uh, I don't claim to be a big, successful streamer. I just like to have fun. I like to interact with my viewers, my friends, my followers, whatever you want to call them. Um, and so, what I'm going to be doing in this um, tutorial series that I would like to do, um, this will be my first of hopefully many, uh, if you all like it. Um, what I want to do is kind of give you guys some tips to kind of um, maybe make your stream a little flashier, a little more fun and and interactive with your viewers. Um, so today's lesson is going to be how to, via chat command, such as exclamation point, whatever, uh, have an animated GIF or GIF, whichever you like to say, uh, pop up on your screen and a sound file play at the same time. So it's kind of like a an alert, you know, be it uh, a raid or a subscription or follower alert that pops up, but instead of one of those things having to happen, you're going to be able to just have someone type something in chat and have it pop up on your screen. So today's we're going to be working with the fatality um, image and, the, you know, the phrase fatality from Mortal Kombat. Um, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. So first step, you do need to be using stream elements to do this easily. Uh, there are other ways of doing it that require some other programs, um, like text editor programs that automatically like read your chat, change something in text, like all kinds of things like that. So th this is very simple. It's a few steps. Um, if you don't use stream elements, just use it for this one thing if you want to. Um, if you do use stream elements, great. You can add it to your current overlays. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to uh, my stream elements here on Firefox. There we go. So what we're going to do here, the first thing you do when you log into Stream Elements, you see you've got all this stuff on the side here, you've got your Stream Store. So you're going to want to click on that and, and open your Stream Store. And what you're able to do is you're going to create a new item. Now, you want your item to be a Stream Perk. You can do just sound effects and that's fine. The access code list, I'm not exactly sure what that is. I haven't done enough research to give any info on that. But if you want both an image and a, and a sound to come up, you're going to want to use stream perks. So again, today I said we're going to do uh, fatality. So we're going to make the item name fat fatality. I can't type today, so I apologize. Uh, once you put the item name in, you're going to scroll down. What's the description? It's going to be Mortal Kombat Fatality. That'll work. Um, so your global cooldown, that's how how often someone can do this, uh, you know, this, this request. Uh, how often a single user can do it. I usually leave those alone. Item cost, this is your loyalty points in your channel. I like to put them at zero for now, as a, you know, until I come up with some really good ones. Um, and then item quality, minus one, that means it's unlimited amount. So once you've got these set up the way you want, Go ahead and hit next. Then it's going to ask you to set your preview asset. Your preview asset is actually going to be your uh, image or GIF that pops up. See, I already have it here, so let me delete it, and I'll show you how to do this. So if you don't use stream elements, as soon as you click that, it comes here. You're going to click up in this corner and hit upload. Then it's going to ask you to drag and drop a file or select your files. You go ahead and select it there. And all my images I've got here. So the fatality is right there. You just go ahead and hit open. It's going to upload it, and there it is. So you go ahead and submit it. There's my preview asset. Then you want to upload your sound that's going to happen with it, too. Again, I already have this sound up here, so let me go upload. Select files is exactly the same as the images. Just put it wherever your sounds are. Now I've uploaded the sound. Let me submit it. Now I know I need to turn the volume up because I usually like these at about 100% because it's more fun to be loud. Um, you want to redeem this to show an alert. You, you, you need to have that checked so it'll pop up on your overlay. Um, if you want them to be able to add text message, you can. I don't really do that. So this is someone can go to your stream store on stream elements through their website, uh, through an extension, which you can put uh, as, you know, as an overlay on your stream, or via chat, which is what we're doing today. You have your choice of subscriber only as well. Uh, you know, I, I may come up with some things like that 
later on, but for now, these are just for fun. Uh, so right now, it's set up as exclamation point redeem, and then whatever you want to put your item name, which this is going to be fatality. Amazing. So you go ahead and hit next. Then it asks you if you have additional requirements, like home address, email address, phone number. I don't need any of that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So you scroll down your list. There it is. If I hit play, you hear it play. So the next thing you need to do is you're going to go up on stream elements to my overlays. And what you're going to do is actually click a blank overlay up here and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it store um, just because it's going to be for my store redemptions. So you go ahead and hit submit and it pops up here. So you go ahead and hit edit for the overlay editor, which brings you to a web based overlay editor, which if you haven't used stream elements, it's actually kind of cool because you can put all of your overlay stuff into one browser source. So it actually takes less processing on your computer. Um, so once you do this, you're going to go into the stream alerts and look over here at where it says store redemptions. Now, if you already have an overlay that you're using through Steam stream elements, you can click up here to, you know, widgets to add a widget to your, to your current overlays and go ahead and put in the store redemption. So we're going to hit add on that. Cool. This is the basics of the overlay. It's going to say, you know, you've got, this is basic stuff. We don't, I don't mess with these at all. The message will be so-and-so's name, redeemed so-and-so item. You can change that as much as you want. I'm going to leave it alone for this uh, tutorial. The alert duration, that's just how long it's going to last or until the end of the sound clip, whichever is longer. Um, you can always change your position, the style, the type of, uh, the type of text settings, you know, the font, the colors the animation, whether it bounces in, what colors they are. It's a lot of things you can do. So once you have this on here, you want to go ahead and save your, uh, you want to save your overlay there. Once you save it, you can go ahead and click on launch. Launch is going to give you a, a uh, hyperlink that you copy in to your OBS or whatever streaming software you use uh, to put it as a browser source. So I'm going to go ahead and hit launch and copy it right there. Cool. So once that's copied, we're going to switch back over to OBS and look at OBSception. Um, so right now, this scene right here, right here, just has my webcam and my display capture. So what we're going to do is actually add a browser source. And it's going to be creating a new one, and this one's going to be named Store, because that's what we're working on. Um, I'm going to uncheck this just for this tutorial, so it doesn't like block up the screen while we're doing the work here. There we go. Cool. So you can see all this. This uh, normally it would be showing. I just don't want it for this tutorial. So for right now, you're going to change that URL to the stream elements one. You're going to change your width to 1280 by 720 or whatever your resolution you're using. You're going to scroll down. You want to shut down the source when not visible and hit OK. So now you see it's the size of my full screen. So I'm going to lock it and I will make it visible. So now, as you see, we can hit redeem fatality. And, ta-da! So, another point you need to have is you actually need to have the Stream Elements chat bot set up as well. So I apologize for missing that earlier. Um, so with the Stream Elements chat bot, as you saw, you'll hear it multiple times because as you see, there's tons of windows, but there it is on the window. Now what you can do is if you don't like where it is, you can actually move it here in this overlay. So let me move it to there. Hit save again. And we'll go back to OBS and try it again. And message. Oh. It's being slow today. 
Fatality. Oh, there it goes. See, now it's right in the center of the screen. So, again, there's, there's lots of options you can do with this. And if you want to leave it with this where it says Redeem Fatality, leave it alone. Everything's fine. But if you want to make it a little cleaner and you are using the Stream Elements chatbot already, then let's go ahead and set up a shorter command. So once that closes, you're going to go down on this side to your chat commands. And you're going to want to create a custom command. Now I've already done this one, so I'm going to delete it and show you how to set it up. You're going to click on here to add new command. Name it whatever you want. Again, fatality is what I'm using. And your response down here needs to be dollar sign and then the bracket, you know, the square, but with the shift key. So it's the weird little, I don't know what it's called because I'm not an English major. Uh, redeem fatality or whatever the item is. And then closing wiggle bracket and then choose activate command done it is activated it is set up in your chat bot so you switch back to obs and now if you just type fatality it comes up so again you can change the text that shows up you can change all sorts of things um that's the easiest way that I have found to have this type of effect in your chat. It's a great way to interact with your viewers. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, switch back to my full screen for a minute. Uh, yeah, guys, so, so it really is a great way to interact with your viewers, a great way to just have fun during your stream. You can do it. You can make some sounds in there to be like jump scares if you're playing spooky games, if you want people to, to mess around with you, um, if you just want to have fun. All of my subscribers uh, get their own personal sound effect and, and GIF when they subscribe. So they get to choose what sound they want. Uh, and I find that just, you know, as a fun little thing to do to show my appreciation. I'll put some work at work out to, you know, make something interactive for them in my channel. So guys, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully this helped. We'll give you a little bit of a fun little tweak for your channels. And uh, if you liked what you saw, please absolutely click on that like button, click the subscribe button. I'm going to be trying to do, try to do at least one of these a week. Uh, as long as, uh, as long as y'all want us to keep seeing them, I'm going to keep making them. So if there's anything else you want to see or tips and tricks you've been looking for as far as how to improve your stream, please leave a comment in the chat below, or you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash chaotic. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So again, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you have a great day.